We have team coverage of this historic decision tonight. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue was taking a closer look at the legal issues. But we'll begin with CBS 17's Nick start event. And Nick, this decision is mobilizing people. Yeah, you guys, Bicentennial Plaza was packed earlier this evening. Organizers' message to people here, don't just show up to protest, but show up to the polls come November. Now, I do want to point out, we did have to blur some of the video because of profanity. They made their message loud and clear Friday evening here in downtown Raleigh. Had an abortion. Hundreds of people protesting against the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. I think it sends a very clear message that people support abortion rights and access in North Carolina. I think it should send a crystal clear message to our elected officials. Kelsey McLean is with the Triangle Abortion Access Coalition, one of the groups who helped put this rally together. She says she and others worked all day Friday to help educate people. Just kind of got out onto the road to do our banner drops to feel a little bit more in control of the situation even though we have no control right now I just feel like we keep going backwards like uh, every time we progress further uh, people just try to make us go back in the other direction we got to get ready to vote we got to be ready to respond there's so many people that are going to be impacted by this decision And you guys, the Triangle Abortion Access Coalition told me that they will be at community clinics starting tomorrow morning just in case anti-abortion protesters show up there. Live in Raleigh tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you very much.